The next thing we do is create our book base that's open. But first, let's create an empty object to put these two parts of this uh, closed book in, okay? Let's create a new empty game object and let's call it closed book. So I'm going to move front of book in there and I'm going to move inside that cover in there. And then we're going to make sure it still runs right. And it does. So that's good. So we're going to disable that and we're going to save our project. And we're going to save our scene. Okay. And then we're going to create a new quad. Create 3D object. We want a quad. And um, we're going to um, change the size or the scale from 8.5 to 5.5. Oh, and that's going to be like two of the other pages. And so then we're going to uh, open book. We're going to move this open book to it, the material, and we're going to change the name of this to uh, book base. Okay. Then when we get done with that, we're going to add a canvas. We can add a page, we can do another quad, but that's just um, another object that we don't really need, so we're just going to add a canvas. Right click, UI element, canvas, and this canvas, um, we need to change this to world space again. Okay, and then we need to change on oh, position changed zero zero zero, and I want the width changed to eight eight fifty. Um, what's the book base here? Eight fifty. I think I want the width half of that. Let's change it. Well, no, we're not because the resolution would not be as good. So we're going to go ahead and change this and then we will just change the scale. Now let's change the scale. And um, let's see what happens here. It's, it's okay. Um, I think I would kind of like this Oh, can lock that. Control Z. I did that wrong. Let's add another zero here. Okay. One. Let's um this scale, I want it smaller. Z, I don't want that. Let's um put another zero. That's better. And a seven. Then let's change the position. And if you click Alt, you can rotate this around. So I kind of want it to fit in this page, but, uh, and we may do a little bit bigger scale, scale, line. I kind of like that, but, um, I'm going to put a zero nine here. I didn't want it quite that big. Zero zero nine five.
because what I want is it to be about the size of this page and it's kind of hard to see but you can see those little lines here let's go to our I'll say let's go to our preferences edit graphics colors we don't want that I did the wrong one edit preferences that's what we want okay we want colors See if that makes any difference. No, it didn't. So we'll just leave it alone. So we've got one here. Let's create a second one. Um, we'll call this one left canvas. Then we're going to create a second one uh, after we put some elements on it. Let's do some text elements. So we're going to say right click, UI element, text. And we're going to make the font a little bit bigger. Make it 28. And if you want to, you can use that new font that we picked up. And let's make the size width of 700 by 50. And let's um, let's just put left header text. And we want it to be centered. And we want it at the top. So that's good. And we're going to move this up here. So. And then we're going to create another one of those. Um, and I'm going to call this here um, header text. Text. And then we're going to create another one called footer text. So we're going to copy this since we have what we like out of it. Uh, duplicate. And we're going to move this down to the bottom. Let's change the name of this to footer text. Footer. And I'm going to name it one underscore one because we need to be able to keep up with this. One's going to be the base page and one of them's going to be the flip page. Okay? So, and we want this text to be at the bottom instead of at the top. And we're going to call this footer text. Okay. Then we're going to create a third one called body text. So let's go ahead and duplicate that one and I'm going to call this body text one one text and his size is going to be 700 to 800 so, and we're going to move him up Let me look at that a little better. Okay. 
So we've got three text fields here. We've got header and body and footer. So let's save this. And then we want a button at the left side. Okay. So let's add a button. We'll call it pre button. We're going to add a UI element and we're going to call it button. And I'm going to call it pre button because we're going to have another one called next button. And on the text, I'm just adding instead of the word button, uh, that, um, is that a lesson sign? Yes. And we're going to make it bold and we're going to change the font to 28. And then we're going to set the um, alignment. So it'll be there. Then we're going to move it over. Let's double click this. But we have to change the size of the button it's from 160 to 100. Uh oh. Let's undo what we did. Control Z. I moved the wrong thing. I think I'm just going to delete this and do over. Delete. Because I can't remember what I did. So let's create that again. UI element button. We're going to set the size bigger. We're going to set the font. Um, then we're going to move the whole button to the end of the page. And then we can set the image source to none if we want. Let's see what that does. Yeah, uh, no, we don't want that. Let's do UI mask. That way it'll be clear. And then let's go to the text after we change the name of it to preview button. And we're going to change the text to the left hand sign and change it to bold and change it to 28 and we're going to change the alignment so let's look at this okay that's what we want file save I don't know how long this has been going but we're going to go ahead and duplicate this and put it on the other side before we quit the video and then we'll start working on that so that was the left canvas now we need a right canvas so let's duplicate that duplicate and I'm going to change this name to right canvas canvas and then we're going to move into this side So we're going to change the name of some of these just so we can keep up with them. We're going to change the body to body 2-1 and the footer to 2-1. Okay. Okay, what else are we going to do? We're going to change this to next button because this is going to go to the next page and we're going to change the location of it okay let's go to the text let's change it to the greater than sign and let's change the alignment okay that's what I want we're going to save that and we're going to save our scene.
Then after this, we're going to create another button. We're going to call this exit button. So let's duplicate that. And let's call this exit button. And let's move it up top. And there, we're going to change the text and the alignment. Let me just put an X there. And the alignment's going to be uh, to the top. Okay. So I think we're going to call this video done. And in the next one, we'll start uh, working on our flip page, okay?